this card I'm going to be using markers and colored pencils on the assorted boards. Um, they're matte boards with all sorts of different colors. They come in pastels and brights and dark colors and they're quite wonderful. They're white on one side with the matte colors on the uh, on the other side. Here I'm using a green and I'm making a nature fairy which is why I chose the green and I've done a pencil sketch and now I'm just going over it with a fine line marker or coloring in. And uh, this board works quite well with with markers and inking pens and it's it's nice to have a color already attached to it because it saves me from doing a little bit of coloring as well. And it can also show through as an undertone which is nice. Then I erase all of my pencil marks. And here I'm using some artist grade markers. These are Copics. I'm also using Prismacolor and the um, Letraset Pantone markers. And as you can see, it covers quite well over the colored board. And it takes the marker quite nicely, the good saturation level. It doesn't dry out. Not a great deal of bleeding. It's, it's good for the markers. And over top of the markers, I'm using Prismacolor and Faber-Castell colored pencils just for my shading and, and whatnot to add some depth. You can see that I've left the background the the board green, um, which is quite handy. It saves me from doing it, and, and it looks nice. I'll add some decorations later. And again, with the inking pens, um, I like to do my inking first with the very thin micron, and then do my uh, marker and colored pencil over top. Um, and then come back and fix up my ink lines where they need to be fixed up. Uh, a lot of people ink afterwards, of course. So you, you can do it either way, whatever works for you. you can see that these boards handle um, a variety of different pen media quite well. I've used gel pens, markers, colored pencils, inking pens, and um, they all work quite nicely on this board. So there you have it, a little nature fairy, markers and colored pencil. Mm -hmm.